what in your view as well on the economic development uh, that the emerging economies are going through uh, both uh, mr ramos mm -hmm. and mr gorkov believe 2016 has been better but they're not that confident of 2017 what would be your view well like there is a lot of uncertainty you, you know uh, particularly when you look at the african continent there are a number of african countries that are still growing quite at a very very healthy pace you speak of south africa you know the growth has basically been very pedestrian currently in this financial year we are projecting growth of less than one percent you know and with the hope that next year 2017 will grow even better because we think the commodity cycle is beginning probably to be improved you know so those i think are some of the things that gives a positive view around uh, the coming years in as far as our growth prospects are concerned okay uh, well uh, we also have been members of the fragile five as uh, we were uh -huh. called in 2013 uh, so uh, just to get your view on that there could be another uh, u.s federal rate hike uh, mm. uh, there could be tremors coming from brexit or from european banks uh, which are now shaky uh, do you think that uh, uh, the the fragile five or the emerging market currencies will face this better this time around i think so could be better could be better okay what's what are your thoughts mr I, ramos the uh, world is dangerous. Is behind us <laughs> the world is dangerous uh, <laughs> so but i i think that uh, uh, all all these things uh, uh, has already been priced by the market and i think that the the especially brazil uh, 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 we are uh, trying to to launch a a, a, a huge uh, in, uh, pro uh, infrastructure program mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yes. Probably, uh, as the 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 the, the lower interest rates in the, in the, 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 in the world, uh, uh, the the investors uh, uh, will will interest to invest in Brazil. And, uh, I think that uh, uh, although we we recognize that the the world is a little bit dangerous, yes. Europe, uh, uh, United States probably will, will grow up will grow up the uh, the, the interest rate. We, we, we are okay. very optimistic to, to face this challenge. Fair enough. Now let me come to uh, the, uh, you know, your banking activities itself. Uh, uh, Mr. Moloketi, did you look for any projects in India itself in the current visit? Or for that matter, uh, with the other BRICS countries? But more particularly India, our viewers would like to know. You know, my, my experience, uh, well, uh, particularly in my interactions with uh, the colleagues in India, is that one of the things that I think is quite important is also the issues of technology and innovation, mm. you know? And I think there's a lot of collaboration between ourselves and the Indian uh, e economies, be it economies, be it banks, be it institutions around the changes, exchanges of technology. And we have seen at this point that the movement is from India into the African continent, okay. you yes. know? And we welcome that, you know, both in terms of capital, but also most important in terms of technology and also exchanges in as far as knowledge is concerned, you know. But I want to comment on this, uh, the earlier question around the impact of interest rate changes yes. in the U.S. on our currencies, yes. you know. I think the key question is that definitely our currencies are going to be affected. Mm. We anticipate a depreciation of our own currency, the rent. What we can speculate about is the extent of that mm. depreciation, you know? Mm. And I think that is one of the things that I think once the U.S. increases the interest rate, there is a movement of, of, of capital mm. into what they consider as safe havens, mm. which is the developed nation. And I think that, that will still be a story next year. But the issues is that what is important is that we've developed an understanding and anticipation and mechanism to mitigate the impact of these currency fluctuations. Mm -hmm. But do you fear that the next red flag may not be the US uh, Fed hike at all? It could be something else. Absolutely. Probably European uh, banks. Absolutely. 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 There's, so many, there's, so, there's so many factors that can impact on the rent. You know, okay. one of which is the issue of the rating agencies that we're talking about earlier. You know that during their visit, we expect that towards November, December, yeah. they will pronounce uh, the status of South Africa. That, depending on the extent and the nature of the pronouncement, will definitely have an impact on the, on, on the fluctuation of, of, of the currency. You want to add to this? <laughs> um, yes, I think we have a lot of opportunity for develop, 
uh, between cooperation between Russia and India. And one of the examples of the National Economic Bank uh, supports you know, one of the biggest projects in India. It's about Kudam Kulan nuclear station. And it's a project about $4 billion. It actually okay. will be a new project in what India. What station is this? Power Kudam station? Kulan. It's, okay. power, it's a nuclear station. Okay. A nuclear, new oh, nuclear yes, Kudam Kulan, the one in, in South in India. India. In yes. South of India. Yes. It's uh, one of the biggest projects uh, between our cooperation. And definitely, the National Economic Bank will support this uh, project. Okay. Uh, anything fresh that you will look at in India? Yes, we're looking for a few projects uh, because we're supporting Russian export to India and as well we're supporting Indian export to Russia. Mm -hmm. In this case, we have a few projects mm -hmm. in different uh, areas, including uh, di different industries, mm -hmm. uh, most not just about oil and gas, about nuclear station, about power station, about equipment, about uh, cars and many, many things. Well, Mr. Gorkov, Mr. Ramos, and Mr. Molaketi, it was a pleasure and an honor speaking with all of you. Well, key takeaways from three very important bankers in the world is that the uh, world is still an uncertain place. 2016 has been better than 2015, but uh, they have their fears about 2017 as well, especially with respect to currencies and interest rates, and therefore their strong support for a rating agency or sponsored by the BRICS countries so that there is an alternative viewpoint in the world and there is more knowledge about BRICS nations in this uh, alternative uh, ratings agency. Thank you very much for joining me. The world economy is in the process of profound adjustment and overall the world economic recovery has been weak and the world is yet to find new growth drivers to replace old ones. Uh, China and other BRICS countries are representatives of a new uh, emerging economies. Despite the slowdown in our economies, the overall trend for continuous improvement has not changed. At this year's annual meeting, the Exim Bank of India proposed to carry out a feasibility study into a credit agency of BRICS countries. At the just concluded meeting, member banks agreed to uh, go ahead with such a work. Currently, under the interbank cooperation mechanism, there are three working groups, and next year there will be new two new working groups. One is on the uh, credit agency. Building on what the Exxon Bank of India has achieved, CDB next year will continue to move forward on the feasibility study of the credit agency.